my lovely. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. And what's your favourite subject in school? Music. <laughs> Courtney Hadwin is an English singer-songwriter whose powerful voice harkens back to the stylings of Janis Joplin and Clive Davis. Her soulful voice shocked audiences in 2018 when her audition for America's Got Talent went viral. Showcasing a spectacular set of pipes ripped straight from the stages at the Monterey Pop Festival, Hadwin entranced viewers worldwide. However, the young star has suffered through a heartbreaking series of events that have threatened the vitality of her stardom, including vicious bullying from online trolls and in-person classmates. Today, we'll examine Courtney Hadwin's heartbreaking life story after appearing on The Voice Kids UK and America's Got Talent and the inspiring ways her community, loved ones, and army of fans have spoken out in her defense. Courtney Hadwin's Early Life Courtney Hadwin was born to Paul and Anne-Marie Hadwin on July 6, 2004, in Sunderland, Tyne and Ware, England. Not long after her birth, the Hadwin family relocated to Hesleden, a small village in northeast England. Alongside her younger siblings, Melissa and Paul, Courtney attended Hesleden Primary School. Courtney had wanted to be a singer ever since watching Connie Talbot on the first season of Britain's Got Talent. Talbot made history at just six years old with her rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Her beautiful voice inspired a generation of aspiring musicians, such as Courtney Hadwin. However, Hadwin knew that vocal lessons would be expensive, so she began busking to help earn extra income. Her grandfather, Tom Story, revealed that Courtney started busking on the streets of England in 2016 to help pay for a vocal coach. The busking has been paying for her music lessons and for petrol money, Story told the Daily Mail. The shopkeepers and the punters love Courtney, but the other buskers don't. They keep asking her to move away because she is always the big attraction and attracts the crowd. From a young age, Hadwin displayed an interest in music and singing. Noticing this, her parents enrolled her in singing lessons at Julie Miles' Vocal Ovation program, and she would later attend the Academy at Shotton Hall in Peterley as of autumn 2018. While possessing an exceptional voice, Hadwin struggled to connect with other kids. Because of this, she developed a rather shy and reserved demeanor. However, she used her powerful voice as a superpower and, through her impressive vocal stylings, found an alternate way to connect with others. Courtney Hadwin's first appearance on television was when she auditioned for Teen Star, a teenage singing competition, in April 2015. The competition took place in Newcastle, England, and marked Hadwin's first time participating in any singing competition. Her rendition of Bob Dylan's Make You Feel My Love wowed the judges during her audition, and the aspiring singer made it to the program's grand final. After her stint on Teen Star, Hadwin gained further recognition for her rendition of Say Something by Christina Aguilera and Great Big World. The video garnered popularity for Hadwin, whose powerful voice boomed over a cafeteria full of her peers. Hadwin's voice is often described as mature beyond her years, possessing a raw and gritty quality reminiscent of classic rock singers. Her unique vocal stylings juxtapose her petite frame, and many are surprised by her voice's deep, dynamic tone. Hadwin performed the song at lunchtime in front of a crowd of peers, teachers, and fellow musicians. However, the 11-year-old wasn't nervous about the performance. I don't really get nervous, so even though I was singing in front of hundreds of people, I just got on with it, she told a local news outlet. She added, I haven't been able to walk down the corridor at school without someone stopping me and saying, well done. It's been weird, but good at the same time. In 2016, Hadwin was a finalist in the Open Mic UK competition and the Beyond the Lights award ceremony before winning Hartlepool's Performer of the Year award. In 2017, Courtney Hadwin blind auditioned for The Voice Kids UK with a rendition of Tina Turner's Nutbush City Limits. 
Her performance wowed the judges and millions of fans, quickly introducing the world to the massively talented 13-year-old. The original panel of the Voice Kids UK judges included Will I Am, Pixie Lott, and Danny Jones. She was picked and subsequently mentored by Danny Jones. As a British musician, singer, songwriter, and producer, Jones is best known as a member of the pop rock band McFly. Hadwin performed Dancing in the Street during the battle round, ultimately winning against Holly Furman and Ebony Green. She sang James Brown's I Got You I Feel Good for her semi-final performance, further showcasing her supercharged stage presence. Courtney Hadwin made it to the finals where she performed And I Am Telling You I'm Not Going from the Broadway musical Dreamgirls. However, her efforts on the show were not enough to win, and Hadwin's final performance before being eliminated was on July 16, 2017. You're gonna love me. Despite coming up short on The Voice Kids UK, Courtney Hadwin performed in front of over 18,000 fans as the opener for Sister Sledge at a South Tyneside Festival concert just a few days after her defeat. However, Hadwin's career was far from over, and she was about to embark on a project that would change her life entirely. Courtney Hadwin competes on America's Got Talent. By 2018, Courtney Hadwin was ready to return to the stage in another televised competition show. This time, she auditioned for America's Got Talent with a cover of Otis Redding's Hard to Handle. Before she started singing, Hadwin appeared bashful while answering the judges' questions. At just 14 years old and petite in frame, no one could have expected the roaring voice Courtney Hadwin was about to unleash. From the moment she began, the judges were in disbelief. Howie Mandel was the first to comment after her performance concluded. Mandel's enthusiasm was palpable, and he compared Hadwin's voice to that of Janis Joplin's debut. He also referenced Clive Davis and the Monterey Pop Festival. Simon Cowell said about her meek demeanor and its juxtaposition to her voice, You sing and you're like a lion. And you sing and you're like a lion. I mean, genuinely incredible. Hadwin's performance inspired Mandel to bestow the aspiring singer with the coveted golden buzzer, sending her directly to the live shows. During Courtney Hadwin's time on the show, Mandel was particularly impressed by her talent and unique vocal style, often expressing his admiration for her performances. It harkens back to when I was a little boy and I was sitting at home on Sunday night watching The Ed Sullivan Show and I saw The Beatles and I said, oh my gosh, this is different. What is this? And I feel it's the same thing with this little girl. The audition was posted to social media shortly afterward. The video almost instantly garnered over 50 million views on America's Got Talent's YouTube channel in the first few months of publication. Viewers were immediately entranced by Hadwin's talent, likening her abilities to those of artists from the 60s and 70s. For this reason, many have claimed that Hadwin is wise beyond her years. Courtney Hadwin eventually returned to the America's Got Talent stage for the show's quarterfinals on August 14, 2018. She sang James Brown's Papa's Got a Brand New Bag, and Tyra Banks, the show's announcer, mentioned during Hadwin's introduction that her audition video had been viewed over 200 million times during taping. The singer advanced to the semi-finals, performing a rendition of Steppenwolf's Born to be Wild on September 11th. Her success streak continued and Hadwin returned on September 18th to perform Tina Turner's River Deep Mountain High for the show's final round. After this performance, mild controversy arose regarding Hadwin's previous stint on The Voice Kids UK, leading many to question the authenticity of her timid demeanor during her audition. However, Courtney Hadwin's peers were not about to let the internet defame a young star yet again. Friends, family, and school teachers came to Hadwin's defense, noting the consistent shyness that had distanced her from children her age. Additionally, many pointed out that Hadwin was not the only contestant with prior experience on a competition show. One of Hadwin's former vocal coaches, Julie Miles, told Hexam TV, 
She's very, very special. She's something very different. Hadwin's grandfather elaborated, confirming that she is painfully shy and even sings in her sleep. The results were announced during the final episode of America's Got Talent after Courtney Hadwin performed Joplin's Peace of My Heart, accompanied by the rock band The Struts. The performance was electrifying and put Hadwin's talents on display worldwide. Although she failed to win the grand prize and came in sixth place, she would go on to play five shows in Las Vegas with Shin Lim, the season's winner, at the Paris Hotel and Casino from November 2nd to 4 in 2018. Hadwin finds success after coming up short. Although endowed with remarkable talents, Courtney Hadwin often fell short in competitive settings, a trend possibly rooted in her shyness. Nevertheless, this setback marked the early stages of her burgeoning career, which was poised for further growth and development. Since her appearance on America's Got Talent, Courtney Hadwin has continued to pursue her musical aspirations with unwavering dedication. Through original songs and soulful covers, she has continued to showcase her versatility as an artist, captivating audiences with her dynamic delivery and authentic storytelling. In December of 2018, Courtney Hadwin signed a record deal with Psycho Music and Artista Records. Psycho, a British record label founded by music executive and television producer Simon Cowell, has been responsible for signing artists such as Leona Lewis, One Direction, Little Mix, Ollie Murs, Susan Boyle, and James Arthur, among others. These artists have achieved significant commercial success and garnered widespread recognition under the Psycho Music label. As soon as Hadwin signed the deal, she started writing and recording new music. In January of 2019, Hadwin reappeared on NBC, this time as a contestant on America's Got Talent, The Champions, where she performed Pretty Little Thing, her first original song. She was later named among the top 50 America's Got Talent contestants across 194 countries. On October 25, 2019, Hadwin released her debut EP, The Cover Sessions, at just 14 years old. The EP included covers of Louis Capaldi's Someone Like You, Harry Styles' Sign of the Times, Lil Nas X's Old Town Road, and the Jonas Brothers' Sucker. Tyler Brown, the managing director of Psycho Music, said, when she hits the stage, there is no one like her in the world, a unique and exciting talent. We can't wait to hear the music she's going to create over the coming years. Hadwin was then slated to perform at the Woodstock 50 Music Festival, planned as the 50th anniversary weekend of the original Woodstock Music and Arts Fair. She had previously stated her influences as Little Richard James Brown to Janis Joplin, Mick Jagger, a really long list. Hopeful attendees were thrilled at the opportunity to see her perform live. However, significant obstacles faced the event coordinators. According to reports, they struggled to find a venue after the disastrous aftermath of Woodstock 99, and a combination of management and funding problems ultimately canceled the event. Hadwin's career faced further hurdles as the COVID-19 pandemic altered the state of the world. The pandemic subsequently limited any live performance opportunities and contributed to the cancellation of many albums, concert tours, and music festivals. While the pandemic had caused devastating repercussions for millions of people, it also drastically hindered the careers and opportunities for many hopeful creatives. Hadwin was consequently placed on a pandemic hiatus. However, she did release a cover of John Lennon's Happy Christmas, War Is Over, on November 20th, 2020. The cover was posted to YouTube and several music streaming services. So this is Christmas and what have we done? Hadwin was slotted to perform at the FM4 Frequency Festival in 2021, but the event was also canceled due to complications from the pandemic. Later that year, at some unknown point, Hadwin parted with the record label that inherited her account after Psycho Music ceased operations. This story is wholly alleged and features differing accounts of what happened with the record deal, but Hadwin somewhat confirmed her departure in a cryptic YouTube exchange with a fan. YouTube user Hal Daly inquired about Hadwin's career on an uploaded video of her song Breakable in 2023, to which she replied, 
It's all me for this one completely independent, finally doing it my way. Courtney Hadwin released Breakable, her next single on February 24th, 2023, by posting the song to YouTube and streaming services. The song was written with Kevin Bow, a record producer who frequently works alongside Hadwin. She later released That Girl Don't Live Here in April and Call Me Back in July. On September 29th, Hadwin released her fourth single of the year, Monsters. This hard rocking tale suited the Halloween season and charted at number 19 on Billboard's Hard Rock Digital Song Sales chart. In November, Hadwin released an upbeat Christmas song called Christmas Rocks, the heartbreaking side of fame. Courtney Hadwin is currently 19 years old and has already experienced worldwide fame due to her exceptional, powerful voice. Despite her achievements and remarkable talents, Hadwin has unfortunately fallen victim to the harsh realities that come with young stardom, including relentless trolling from online haters and real-world situations of bullying at school. Aside from her show-stopping vocal range, Courtney Hadwin is known for her timid demeanor. The unique sound of her singing voice is her trademark, but it has also garnered the child star a few haters. After her appearances on The Voice Kids UK, Hadwin's grandfather told the Daily Mail, online people were quite cruel saying she was not a singer, but a shouter. The online bullying persisted through her time on America's Got Talent, but Hadwin's family took comfort in the fact that the cruelties were confined to the internet. However, Hadwin had to face some of her bullies face to face. At school, people laugh at you, she said. They're not used to people singing like me. I get called names. They say I sing like a boy. After The Voice Kids UK, Hadwin and her family knew that her journey to superstardom was far from over and that she needed to get back on stage as soon as possible. They decided to audition for America's Got Talent rather than Britain's Got Talent, leaving many fans dumbfounded. However, Hadwin explained her decision to audition for the American version of the show stemmed from the fact that all of her musical heroes were American. We wanted to do America's Got Talent because it's the biggest show in the world and it's where all my idols are from. Hadwin's feelings were confirmed during her audition, where the audience gave the singer a standing ovation and boundless applause. I remember singing and then getting to a certain point in the song and seeing people enjoy it, which made me really happy, she said. I must have been doing something right. Hadwin's grandfather elaborated on the family's decision, saying, We always believed she would do well in the USA. We knew they would get it in a way that the UK didn't, he told the Daily Mail. We believed in her and knew that she would go down a storm over there. After the news of Hadwin's previous stint on The Voice Kids UK went viral and perplexingly angered many fans of America's Got Talent, it briefly appeared that Hadwin's critics would get the best of her and stop her career before it had the chance to take off. The controversy was further sensationalized when news broke that she had also played young Cosette in a production of Le Miserable. For some reason, people were stunned that the massively talented 14-year-old had prior experience on the stage. Some even claimed it wasn't fair that she had already been a televised act on a competition show. Courtney Hadwin said she'd never performed before an audience that big, and she and her dad acted like they didn't know if she could perform because she's so shy. One angry critic tweeted, but she was a finalist in The Voice UK, so act is fake. You shouldn't be allowed to compete if oo've been on other shows. Some angry viewers even targeted their frustrations at the show's judges, who were surprised when they heard Hadwin's voice as if they had never heard it before. Sadly, Hadwin's detractors resurfaced online for the remainder of her time on America's Got Talent. However, Howie Mandel, one of Hadwin's most vocal supporters during her time on America's Got Talent, swiftly defended the singer in 2018. I don't understand why that's an advantage, and it's like, you know, you don't have to be from America to be on America's Got Talent. You can have a career, and you could have been on the other Got Talent shows. In the end, Hadwin lost to magician Shin Lim, prompting many hardcore Hadwin fans to criticize the competition's results. In retrospect, 
It is clear that Courtney Hadwin did nothing wrong by appearing on both shows, and the controversy evaporated as soon as the season ended. I think that the world now knows Courtney Hadwin like they never did before, Howie Mandel said, and I feel blessed to be a small part in witnessing the making of a superstar. Courtney Hadwin is still pursuing a successful music career, and if her talents are anything to go by, she's in for a legendary ride. She boasts over 800,000 Instagram followers and uses the app to promote upcoming songs and performances. Courtney Hadwin's remarkable journey in the music industry is a testament to her extraordinary talent, unwavering passion for performing, and relentless determination to carve out her place as a standout artist. From the moment she stepped onto the stage of America's Got Talent, it was evident that she possessed a rare gift, a voice that transcends boundaries and captures the hearts of audiences worldwide. With each powerful rendition, Hadwin showcased her vocal prowess and her ability to connect with listeners on a profound level, leaving an indelible impact that resonated long after the final notes faded away. Beyond her musical talents, Hadwin's journey is also defined by her resilience and perseverance when facing challenges. Despite the pressures of the industry and the scrutiny that comes with being in the spotlight, she has remained steadfast in her pursuit of excellence demonstrating a maturity and grace that belies her young age. As she embarks on the next chapter of her career, Courtney Hadwin stands on the precipice of even greater success. With her talent, passion, and unwavering commitment to her craft, she is poised to leave an indelible mark on the music industry and continue to inspire audiences around the globe for years to come. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, Check out one of the other videos you see on your screen to continue on your ultimate expedition. You won't want to miss it.